Welcome to the part 3 of this tutorial, the multicast pattern. This is my favorite pattern to replicate stuff. It's good for stuff like animations, particles and a hell lot more things. In the previous uh, tutorial we made that when you press E you attached a uh, weapon. Now we're going to do that when we press I we're going to play an animation. If you like it, keep watching. I'm gonna teach you it. The first thing we're going to do is create an animated montage with the animation that we wanna play. Uh, from the mannequin, the uh, stuff included with the uh, third person template, we're going to use this animation called Jump start. Let's create a montage with it. Let's go to create, create any montage. Let's call it AM uh, jump start. Alright. Now that we're done, we're going to reference it on, on the code and so we can use it. We are going to declare a new one input project settings uh, input and let's call this play animation with i and we're going to go use the key i Alright. Now let's make sure from code that it works. Let's go to the code. Go to the uh, character. And from here, we're going to declare a new input and declare a new function as well play animation with i Alright, let's declare this new function right next to use. Now the, the declaration and the header file. Alright, let's hit him. Alright, now that everything is compiled and working file, let's go and play and see if our input works. Let's press I, and yeah, it works. Perfectly. If we call it from the client, we call it from the client only, not from the server. So, guess what? We have to make a server function. Alright, in order to replicate our 
uh, animation successfully. We need a server function. So when we are clean, we're going to call the server function, and then the server function it's going to call the multicast. And so we're going to write it down. So let's go for it. Let's declare two new functions: multicast play and cleans play anim, and server go and play animation. Do it in the uh, character. All right. Now the definition. For for the uh, multicast function, we only just need the implementation. We don't need validation. So let's do it. All right. All right. Well, when, once we're done declaring the two new functions, let's compile and see what happens. I should play and we see that we have to call it from the server I uh, from from the game so all right to make sure it works we're going to do that whenever the server function is called it's going to print a message and uh, multicast as well so can I server indentation of server Alright, let's do that whenever we hit uh, the uh, key I, we're going, to, we're going to call server go and play animation. And from the uh, server, we're going to call the multicast function so it replicates to all clients. Alright, let's hit compile and test. We play and we press I. And we see that uh, our server function is called and our multicast as well. And our multicast reaches the clients. So it's good. Alright. Now let's go to reference the, our animation in the code. And uh, now that we, we have declared our multicast function and server function, we need to reference our animation in order to play it from code. So let's go and reference it. Let's declare it on, on the header file. It's going to be called test anim. It's going to be a pointer to of a uanim montage. Go to header. 
All right. And now that we have done this, let's reference it. So it points to the editor. We have to do it from the constructor. We need to do it like this, the constructor helper and we type in the root. Alright. Go to the constructor. And and we have to write the the location in our editor of the animation. All right, let's go to the editor and copy the location, copy the reference of our champ start, and let's paste it in our CPP file. It's going to be only this part of here alright now that it's done referencing it we're going to call it from code alright now that we referenced the uh, animation let's compile so to make sure it works Alright, now that we have our animation referenced and all it's working, let's uh, test it. Whenever we pre press I, we're going to play an animation. So let's do it. When pressing I, we're going to play this animation. Let's compile. And hit play. I'll let res uh, it doesn't work because we need a slot in our animation uh, animation tree. So let's go to our animation tree and go to the event graph. The ending graph, sorry. And uh, in idle run. Let's play the slot, the default slot. All right, now it should work. So let's hit play. Um, we see that it's moving, but it's not moving so much, so Let's use another animation. Let's new make, make a new animation montage. We're going to be calling it AM Anim. And we're going to assign it a uh, when to use this thing, All right? Perfect. All right, let's reference it on the code.
hit compile and hit play all right now that we change the animation it's playing perfectly but let's check from the client does it happen anything? Let's check it. Press I, but nothing's moving, moving at all. And from the server, if we, s if we see the client side, nothing moves at all as well. Well, I can assure you this happens. And if you don't see it. So let's go and use our multicast pattern in order to Alright, let's go to our implementation. Well, let's uh, delete that we play animation when we let's play I. And let's go to the implementation. Uh, of the multicast, let's go to the implementation and write this. Play animated and our test anim. So, once we call a multicast, the animation is going to play. Let's hit compile and test the results. Okay, let's hit play. We hit the I, and we see the animation. Voila! So what happened here is that uh, we call the uh, multicast and the multicast calls an uh, uh, instance from the server of the function and in the uh, client. Alright. Well this tutorial is over for now. Everything works. We're going to do the... Well we're going to end it, end it up here. And there's not going to be many more tutorials of this. Um, with all you learned so far, you're able to replicate just anything. Uh, and th so you won't have problems if we follow if you follow this tutorial along. You won't have problems when you have to replicate a game in a multiplayer session. Well, see ya. Um, one, one last thing. I'd like to uh, comment that if you like this tutorial, you probably also like our games. So if you want to check our games, just go to our channel, which well, is this channel in YouTube, and you will probably uh, search, searching you will find our videos of our games. We have games like Gladiators of the Arena, Gladiator Manager, and other titles. Well, see ya.